X-Files highly anticipated. Another thing highly anticipated, the Vancouver police recovered goods auction preview today, tomorrow, auction on Saturday. How big a deal is this auction? It's a, an event people look forward to every year. We got a lot of repeat customers coming back, a lot of new faces. It's a, it's a nice big surprise to come here to see what, what we have every year. And so we're going to preview a few of the things, but hey, <coughs> lots of bikes. How many bikes do we have here? We've got over 400 bikes, about, you know, about 450 bikes. Uh, some bikes are in two lots, but most of the bikes are single lots, so we sell everything lot by lot. So this one would be sold right by itself. And that is a good bike. I mean, when we talk <coughs> about the quality of bikes that are out there, you can find some that are maybe older and more beat up, and then you get something like this. Yeah, we've got a lot of really nice looking bikes this year. This is a Rider 29, full uh, front suspension, disc brakes. You know, this is probably a $2,000 bike if you had to pay retail prices for it. What kind of deals can be had when you come to an auction? This is probably going to sell for about 500 bucks. Wow. So definitely some discounts oh, available, yeah. but I imagine that if someone has never been to an auction before, they're sort of going, how fast paced actually is it? Because we think of the ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, ba -dee, that kind well, of talking. We, we don't, yeah, we're, we're pretty fast. You know, we go 500, 200, 200, 300, 3, 3, 4, and sold. You know, something like that. Okay. But you know, it, it, if you listen for a little while, you'll get the hang of it. Okay. And, uh, and we have everything on the screen, so you'll see what we're asking, what the next increment is. So it's, it helps, it clears it up a bit. And you know, if somebody's confused, we'll slow it down, you know, and uh, just tell them where we're at. And you know, if they're bidding against yourself, we say, no, no, you're, you're already on $200. <laughs> don't bid against yourself. But so. it can sell up with it about 30. 20 seconds, right? Right, exactly. 20, 30 seconds, well, next bike comes in, away it goes. So let's say I go over here and I go, I'm walking around, I'm going, that's a nice bike, that's a nice bike. Uh, is this mine? I don't know. Is this mine? What happens? Okay, well, if you if you come to me and say, hey, that looks awful like the bike I got stolen, and uh, I'll take it out of the auction, put you in touch with the property, uh, Vancouver Police Property Office, and then get you guys together, and they, if you prove your claim to them, they'll give you the bike right back. Fantastic. Well, Jody and Riaz, once again, the previews today and tomorrow, so a great way for people to sort of, you know, scope out what they might be interested in, perhaps research the actual value. You should make your way here to the preview. But again, the auction itself happening on Saturday. we got more of what they have to offer coming up in the 7 o'clock hour. But there's a whole process that's involved when it comes to an auction. So, um, Rob, obviously we're getting ready for the Vancouver Police Recovered Goods Auction. How do items actually come to be here? Okay, well, the police um, recover them and the police hold them for a certain time period. I believe it's 90 days. They try to find their owner. If they can't find the owner, uh, they, they ship them off to us and we auction them for them. And everything actually goes. So it goes to the highest bidder, which means some deals oh, can be had. Yeah. But Good not everything deals. is cheap. This is a $12,000 ring. How do we know it's actually worth $12,000 and not just a fake, you know, glass? Uh, we get everything appraised by a certified gemologist. She's been doing our appraisals for over 20 years. Uh, she's very, very good at what she does. And uh, so she's actually appraised that ring at replacement value of $12,000. There's uh, 73 diamonds, one, one diamond's three quarters of a carat, and then just 72 smaller diamonds. So, I mean, typically that, the appraisals uh, at $12,000, that would probably sell between $1,500 and $2,500. Incredible. A lot of people are looking at this Rolex here. Oh, I know that that is going to be a hot one. That is that is a beautiful watch. That That's a replacement value. So a little over $10,000. I'm guessing it's going to sell for three to four thousand. Incredible. So if someone does see again something that could possibly be theirs, yes. What's the, what happens then? We'll we'll remove the item from the auction and put them in touch with the property office of the Vancouver Police Department, and they can verify their claim with them. Very quickly, I'm looking at those Louis Vuitton bags. How oh. would someone know that those are real? Because it's not like you can get a gemologist to check that. Yeah, I, I checked into that, and uh, those were purchased with a stolen credit card at a store. So it's uh, that's that's how we know they were real. And the best way for people to sort of scope out what's what's to come is to come to the preview today and tomorrow, right? That's right. 11 to 6 today. Come to the preview. Take a look at all the items. If you see something you like, go home and do your research tonight. Go on Google. See how much it's worth retail. See how much you want to pay. Set some set some limits. And don't get too excited. Just, you know, don't overpay. You're not going to overpay here. I mean, 95% of the items here, you're going to get an awesome deal. Exactly. We're here at Able Auctions where we are just getting ready for the Vancouver Police um, Recovered Goods Auction. And Rob, right now we're seeing a bunch of instruments. I mean, you have almost anything anyone could possibly want to either learn to play or perhaps they're really collecting something that's we, of value. Yeah, we do this year. We especially have a lot of violins this year, mandolins, le electric guitars, bass guitars, acoustic guitars. We've got the whole band here, I think, uh, lot, lots of instruments this year. Good quality Fender, yeah, Fender. some signed, some autographed, I don't know yeah. by who, but... Yeah, yeah, Gibson, <laughs> Fender, we've got, you know, Johnson mandolins and uh, a huge variety. Now, for people that are um, coming to participate in the auction, the preview, by the way, today and tomorrow, the auction 
auction itself happens on Saturday. Where does the money actually go? It goes back to the city of Vancouver. Okay. And again, there's an appropriate amount of time um, where they try to see if they can find the proper owner for things like potentially valuable comic book collections. This isn't someone's mom that just decided to clear out the basement. No, no, it isn't. You know, we've got some golden age, silver age comics here and current comics as well. They, you know, as you can see, you know, 10 cent comics, you, you haven't seen those since the 60s or the 50s. So there's a lot of old comics here, Star Trek from the 60s. The and, iconic Marilyn yeah, Monroe. That's right, Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, so some really great things for people to check out um, and some things of extreme value as well. And I know that um, these Schwarzky crystals, this is something that people are truly, truly interested in. Absolutely. No. This uh, dolphin here uh, had a retail tag on it of fifteen hundred dollars. So there's there's many thousands of dollars worth of Swarovski. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Swarovski I'm crystals. I'm not saying it right. Either. That's okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then, you know we've got you know we've got I, Apple iPod, um, uh, iPads here. We've got beautiful cameras. And very quickly, if people actually are the successful bidder, they got to get it out day pay. Yeah, yeah, it's a one day one day auction. One day. Yeah, you bet. One day auction happening on Saturday. Preview again today and tomorrow. More details. Check them out at Able Auctions. Are people going to be able to get some super Supreme things, maybe uh, some champion items, actually brand name items here as oh. well. Um, Rob here at Able Auctions getting ready for the Vancouver Police Recovered Goods Auction. We were with the bikes earlier, a huge draw, but what if you don't want to bid on any bikes? Okay, well, um, well the bikes start at 9 a.m. on Saturday, so we'll sell about 75 to 100 lots per hour. So the bikes should be finished around 12, 1230, and then we get into the remainder of the auction, which is this entire room. So things uh, like sporting goods. That's right, sporting goods. We've got lots of sets of uh, golf clubs. We've got, we've got uh, tennis rackets, surfboards, skating boards, surfboards, uh, all sorts of things. Snowboards, yeah, we got it all. And we can look at uh, quite a bit of a discount from what things might be on a regular price, right? Oh yeah, you get probably 25% of new price is what you expect to pay. Things like this uh, is an incredible. A beautiful, beautiful barbecue. It's a brand new, brand new barbecue. Actually, brand new, and some things actually still in the bite in the uh, boxes. Tools are also a big draw. Lots of tools. We've got everything for the construction guy or woman, whoever needs the tools. We've got it all cordless, brand new cordless, and every all tools are here. And for people that are kind of going, oh my gosh, I don't know if I can understand the quick speak. How am I gonna, you know, am I gonna miss out? Am I gonna bid incorrectly? You actually have a great way for people to be able to slow it down for themselves, right? Yeah, we'll have every, every item's gonna be view, uh, viewed on the uh, video screen plus it'll show the amount we're asking for what the next increment is so it's it, it'll be pretty easy to follow that way and once again the preview today tomorrow the actual auction on Saturday you can make your way here for the preview and then you can register for the auction definitely some deals to be had thank Absolutely. you very much, thank you very much. Um, we're gonna take a little break here on BT what will the weather hold I hear there may be a bit of a storm before the calm Russell Kate has all those details